Thank you so very much for the huge response on my new channel, Indigo Tarot. I am so blessed to have you in my life. Thank you so much. It feels so good to be in everyone's energy again. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my original channel is Your Indigo Path. I moved the tarot over to Indigo Tarot and everybody's fine to me and I love it because I love being in your energy. So thank you so very much. Um, this is going to be your daily forecast. I Yes, I have brought the dailies back because there's been such a big response. And if there continues to be a big response, I'll bring more stuff back. Um, so there are a couple of things I want to say uh, thank you. First of all, I couldn't do this without you. I am very blessed to have you as a soul group, to have you as friends, um, to have you in my life. Thank you. I am humbled and I am honored to be a part of your path that you've allowed me to be. Uh, secondly, I am going to bring back... Um, how does he feel about me or what does she want from me? Those are going to be a uh, fee. So there'll be a paid um, video. Um, I think it's going to be like $2 or $1.99 or something like that. Um, so you'll have a chance to get those. Uh, but I do want to say this. Um, I've noticed that like some of you are like on it <laughs> on these videos. So uh, you know, I've, I've got that Aquarius rising and the Sag and the Gemini in me. So I'm going to make a little bit of competition. Um, so, um, when I release a video, uh, for each sign, uh, in the first hour, whoever has the most views and likes and comments, uh, I'm going to take who, so whoever is the, the biggest for that first hour, uh, the views, the likes, the comments, the shares, whoever that is, I will give them their how does he feel about me um, video free. I'll release it on the YouTube channel free. The other videos, uh, I'll still do them for the other signs, but they will be for, um, I, like I said, I think it's like two, either two ninety nine or one ninety nine. I can't remember. Anyway, so I want to thank everyone. For those of you that don't know me, welcome, welcome. My name is Cindy. I am the Modern Day Spiritual Advisor. I use multiple modalities, including Tarot, to help you on your path. And now the author of my upcoming book series, Concepts Create Reality. That's where I have been. I have been uh, writing this book, uh, changing it up, doing some edits. Uh, it should be re released soon. Um, I'm not putting a date on it because I don't want to pressure do that pressure. I need it to be nice and easy. So welcome, welcome everyone. Um, thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be your daily love forecast for um, July 23rd, right? I think we're in July 23rd. Oh my gosh, I think I forgot the date. July 24th, sorry. July 24th, sorry. July 24th, 2017. So um, I do it differently than probably most do it. This is your stance in love. And these are the general energies I see in the in that day. Um, it is always up to you whether you want to accept and allow or deny. That's kind of up to you in your path. So this first position is about your stance in love or what's going to happen to you physically. Like things that are actually here. Your position in love. Um, the second is spirit's advice as to what to do with this situation or in this situation or with whatever happens in love. And then this is the outcome. And then I'm going to give you guys a bonus card. I'm going to allow you to ask a question and then I'm going to turn over the card and explain the card. Okay. So this will be going on daily. So please be sure to like, share, and subscribe so people get this out, uh, get to get their dailies as well. So in your first position, my beautiful ones, uh, you have the Page of Cups, so you've got news coming in love that is going to be emotional. For some of you, that is very, very good news. I feel relief. I feel like, oh my God, finally. For others of you, I feel like I kind of knew this was happening and he or she finally came around and said it or did it, right? And for others of you, I feel like it's going to be a shock. And so... Um, I kind of feel see a sad face with that. So uh, either way, this news is going to be emotional, um, but it's part of your path to grow in love. Now, in your second position, you have the magician. So this is Spirit's advice in this situation. They're saying, we've heard what you wanted. We're trying to get to you to where you want, uh, but sometimes you have to go down to the basics and uh, realize... Um, 
go down to the foundation so that you can build what you're wanting, right? So they're saying with this news, with this information, or with whatever this thing that happens, you have everything within you to make it go forward, right? Now remember when you're co-creating, it's different because their energy is just as valid as your energy. So you can tell the universe or spirit or God or oneness what you want. You can make that happen for you, but maybe not with that particular person, if that makes any sense, okay? So um, with this news, you have the magician, they're saying, take what you know, take your experiences. If you need to use the sword and cut somebody out, do that. If you need to use the cup and love somebody more, love somebody uh, emotionally, connect with them emotionally, then do that. If you need to spend time with them, then do that. Um, if you need to take action and show them something, then do that. So uh, they're saying with this news, you have the information. What are you going to do with that? We're here. We're, we love you. We are here and we want to help. Now, the outcome is the tower, which is what they were sort of saying. So the outcome, the tower means that that isn't built on a solid foundation must come crumbling down. Now, if you've built a solid foundation, then it's only going to be a crack, right? It's still not going to feel good, but it's going to be a crack. So I feel like um, for some of you, it's a big jolt. I kind of feel like some of you, it's going to be a jolt. And others of you are going to be like, yep, I've been waiting for this to happen so that I can build. Like, you're tired of waiting for this to happen. I feel like some of you are like, yeah, I know to leave when that person tells me this certain thing. And then I think maybe that's what that news is. Okay. So, um, that's what's going to be going on, on in July, July 23rd. Um, did I say 23rd again? I'm so sorry. 24th. Um, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. So the next card I'm going to, uh, turn over, I'm going to allow you to ask a question. So I'm going to give you a second and then I'm going to turn the card over and I'm going to explain the card and then you read the, me the message that you need to read from it. Right. Okay. So here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's definitely telling some of you if the question was, is that really going to be over or are we really going to change? Yes, 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 yes. So the death card to me is out with the old and with the new. You really do have a change coming. Things are progressing forward. It is time for you to let go of some things. Uh, it is time for you to move into this new energy that you have been saying you wanted. Now you're receiving the news to be able to have that happen. You, we have this energy here for the day for you to make something of it. So that's the answer to your question. All right, beautiful ones. I love you, love you, love you. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Love you, love you, love you. Bye.